part four of our tour of the Great Central Main Line in Leicestershire. Um, just walking down the Grand Union Canal. We're off to have a look at something different. We've done an old station site. We've done a bridge over the motorway. We've done a tunnel or the entrance to a tunnel. Um, we're now going to do a viaduct. So we're just walking down to uh, the Whetstone Viaduct. Before we crack on, here's a very brief history of the Great Central Railway in 30 seconds. In the early 1890s, the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway was looking to extend from its current network south to London. Work started in 1895 and in 1897 the company became the Great Central Railway, the last main line to be built in England. The line opened in 1899, linking the cities of London, Leicester, Nottingham, Sheffield and Manchester. In 1923, it was grouped into the London Northeastern Railway. Various factors saw its decline until closing in stages in the 1960s with a big hand from Dr. Beeching. Of course, we're no stranger to the GCR. We've seen it on many of my videos before, further north around Sheffield and Derbyshire. We're moving our way north through Leicestershire and we're closing in on Leicester city centre. The Whetstone Viaduct crosses the River Sense and the floodplains between Whetstone and Glenparva. It spans 13 arches and measures approximately 151 yards. This is a bridge that carried the Great Central Main Line over the Grand Union Canal, just below it here. some abutments from a bridge here as well is that just a farm track underneath it is isn't it totally missing off that side let's not go much closer so we're heading south on the on the track right at the moment the direction of well where we've come from uh and today's visit lutter with rugby and onwards to uh, towards london um right yeah we're starting starting on the viaduct now let's just uh have a quick butchers down the side before we get on got a tensioner there off the off a pole haven't we Can we get through here it's a bit, a bit steep this banking there's a quick view if you can see it there it's the side the first section of the viaduct Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of graffiti on this. It's uh, certainly got a bit of colour to it. There's a river down there. It's not in the greatest condition, I have to report. Ah, that's interesting. I can't get any closer. But you can see the brick on the end there, that, I don't know, it's oblong shaped brick. Been seeing them all day. So they're tops. It's like they're, they're uh, tops off structures, aren't they? I can't say I've ever noticed them that distinctive shape before. There were so many hanging around at Lutterworth just discarded on the floor. I just assumed there was something from the railway or the bridge. I didn't realise there was at the the wall tops.
get a look over this side. Now we're in the open a bit more. These walls are quite high. I can't really see over myself. Point the camera. So if I remember rightly what I read, the bridge, the viaduct is split into three sections, separated by these uh, refuge areas on both sides. There's the other one. So it's coming off the viaduct now. Oh, can I fit through there? Have you got any butter? <laughs> there you go. Wow, someone's had a party. Aerosol cans, <laughs> or it's just a designated place to dump them, should I say? Yeah, they've been burnt as well, haven't they? Some of them. Right, so we've seen on the viaduct itself. Let's uh, let's go down and have a look underneath. At well, look at, at the actual viaduct. There's a tension over the other side of the viaduct as well. Fresh, isn't it? That it's graffiti down this first arch. I mean, it does add a bit of colour to it, but I think I'd sooner look at this viaduct without all the graffiti, to be honest. It's all the way along every arch. It's really shallow, isn't it? It's not a tall one at all. When you stood here, you realise how shallow it is. Not in a great state of repair, to be honest. Trees starting to come through the side. Once it starts to get to this stage, it's just going to kind of be left to ruin, isn't it, even more? Right, we're going to get back on the track bed, because I think we're just going to have a little wander a bit further up. Another little bridge, just to look at as a bonus. We've got this bridge just well, 100, 200 yards up from, from the viaduct. Again, colourful, isn't it? Move your feet down there. It's going over a, an active railway line. This is, I don't know the railway geography around here. Is it Leicester? Jim said it's the Leicester to Birmingham line. There's a train coming in the distance. Some feats of engineering, aren't they? They weren't, they weren't doing things by half when they, they built these bridges. We were just talking about it, just walking up, walking up the track bed there. The more I see the Great Central Main Line, just the more it just makes me feel just how wasteful. Um, it is that all this, I mean, there's just miles and miles of uninterrupted track bed. It just feels like such a waste. State of repair, isn't it? That bridge. Realise the top's missing on this side as well. Right, that's part four in the can. So that was the Whetstone Viaduct and a couple of the bridges and trap bed either side of it. So next we're heading 
into Leicester yeah, city Leicester, centre. Leicester Central Station. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a look at some of the remains that's in the city centre. Now, this is the one that's I've really been looking forward to. I've been looking at um, Google Maps street views for uh, for years for some of the stuff in Leicester. So I'm really, really looking forward to what we what we come across. So cheers for watching. We'll see you on the next one.